Okay, for this project you're going to need a pair of pruners and a wreath um, circle thing. This one's wire. Um, also, you can use a grapevine too if you have that. Either one will work fine. This was just this one's only a couple bucks at Walmart. And my size I'm using is 18 inches. And then you're going to need some craft wire. Um, I got some green craft wire. It's 26 gauge. And I got this at Walmart too. I don't remember how much it was. It might have been about three dollars. And then you're going to need some regular four ply yarn, which I'm going to make a bow out of. Just I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. Um, we'll do that later though. And I'll be using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook whenever it's time to make the bow. And then if you want, uh, oh, you're also going to need, I'm sorry, a hot glue gun. And some hot glue. You could use a low heat or high heat, either one that you have. And then if you have anything that you want to decorate it with, you can. Like I got little snowflakes and stuff I might glue on mine. Um, I have an ornament that I might hang from the center. Maybe. I haven't decided. But any decorations of any kind that you want to use. I'm in my backyard and I got I got lots of pine trees, big pine trees that I can use. So let me go back here. Excuse my landscaping, I still got to clean it up for the, for the year, but, um, yeah, I got big old pine trees in my yard that I can use. Hopefully you guys got some too. I got some more behind me. Um, you can use the big spruce pine trees if you want, like that. I'm going to actually use this one, um, right here. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, wispier looking. And it's a little smaller too, so. Um, all you want to do though is just get some clippers and start cutting branches about 12 inches long, probably. 12, 15 inches long, because you can always trim them up if it looks like it's too long. And you're going to need quite a few. So I'm going to get my branches to start trimming. Also, if you are going to use the spruce type of branches, ahead and walked around like like these type of branches this is the blue spruce or I have the green one too um, if you want to use these type you can cut them there's a little bit more prickly than the other type but they work too or you can even mix them cut them the same probably about 12 inches and you want to try to get the tops of each type of tree that you use the top branches so go ahead and gather you some up and I'm gonna gather me some up it's windy and cold out here so I'm gonna get ready get it done get it back inside and I'll see you here in just a second okay after you get all your pine clippings made you want to go ahead and pick one up here and you can always trim them to size but I work I will face it to my left and I'm just gonna put it on here like this now I'm going to start with my wire. I'm going to run my wire through here. I'm just going to twist it up to start it. Let me get some slack here. Okay. A couple little twists here to start that wire. Now what I'm going to do is just wrap the wire around really tight around the whole branch well the bottom part of the branch really tight keep wrapping now you're not going to clip your wire you're going to use the same wire as just going to keep wrapping and then what I'll do is I'll take another branch and I'll just keep working around this way with the points of my branches that way and once you get them I'll just start wrapping this one too 
put it on top. See, I put it on top of this one a little bit. And then I'll start wrapping it on with the wire a few times so it doesn't come off. That. And then if I have any long branches hanging like this one, just clip it off a little bit. Throw it out. And then I'll grab another piece. And I want to lay it on top a little bit. And see, this one's quite a bit longer than what I need, so you can always trim them like that. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to set it on top of it a little bit. Here's my last piece, and here's my wire. So I'm laying it on top. And then I'm going to wrap it a few times. Just want to make sure that the whole time you're wrapping it tight so you don't want them to come undone so pull really tight wrap it up a few times okay and another one put it right about here and i'm going to wrap this part right here Wrap it nice and tight. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep doing this the whole time. I'm just gonna grab branches here and keep working this way. Wiring them up, wiring them up. It's real easy. Just the main thing is just to make sure you wire them up tight. And then you can always clip any of these big branches that you think are going to be in the way. Like that. And I'm just moving. Keep moving here. Grab my next one. Put it right here and then I'll wire it up. I hope you can see my counter space ain't very big. I'll probably put this off a little bit so it's not hanging over. I love making homemade wreaths for Christmas. It smells so good. And then I'll start with my next one, which is really going to hang over, so I'm going to go ahead and clip some of it. And I'm going to tie it on. wire it real tight so I'm just going to continue I hope I'm not out of the camera to going around just like this is wiring on my branches it's real it's easy just as long as you do it tight you shouldn't have a problem with it and like I said you start on the on the left and then you work to the right that's what I do because I'm right handed but if you find it easier to work the other way, that's fine too. So I'm going to keep going around until my wreath is filled up all the way. Okay, once you made it all around and you got it kind of how you want it to look, it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll trim it up and we can always hot glue some uh, sprigs if there's any bald spots that you see that you don't like but just cut the uh, wire a little bit longer and I kind of just weave it around these wires wrap it quite a few times that way it won't come undone sure does smell good though it's my favorite part of it 
Now this, using an 18 inch wreath, mine always turn out really big. I like big wreaths so, so if you want yours to be a little smaller, you could always go with a 12 inch wreath to start out with. Okay, once you get this all wrapped up, or you think it's not going to come on down here, or wrap it a few times in here, you can clip your extra wire if you have any, or just hide it inside, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it up. That way I can get a better picture of what it's going to look like. And then I'll start trimming it up a little bit. So what you want to do once you get it hung up here, you just want to step back and look at it. And I'll probably go through, trim up some of these long ones, but I like the way it wisps out too. In any spots that I think I might need some more, I just took some short clippings. And what I'll do is when I put them in there, I'm going to hot glue them into place. You can always rewire them if you want, but it's really up to you. Since they're so small, hot glue is going to work pretty good. But I'm going to do that to any places that I think need um, need some. But anyways, that's what it kind of looks like. I'll trim up some of this in here. And like I said, some of these little flyaways. And then um, we'll start working on the crochet bow. Okay, for the bow... And you definitely don't have to crochet one. You can buy one. Whatever you want to do. But I'm going to start with a chain of 10. Just like that. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in the second from the hook. And then one single crochet. And every stitch across. And then when you get to the end, and you do your last single crochet, you want to chain one and turn your work. And then we'll work across again, putting one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to be doing rows of one single crochet in each stitch. This is probably going to be the part that takes the longest to crochet in the bow. And when I get to the end again, you want to make sure you go into that chain one each time at the end. Chain one and turn again. And then go across again. So I'm just going to be doing this back and forth for a while. Until I get a few long pieces. Or a couple of long pieces. Um, show you here. I don't really know exactly how many rows it is, but you need to have two pieces. Um, about two to two and a half feet long each. So here's one piece. But you need to have two that size like I said two or two and a half unless you're making a b smaller bow because you have a smaller um, wreath you don't have to do it that big But and now this piece is going to be the center of the bow that wraps it up so it needs to be shorter so I'll go ahead and finish this piece and I'll let you know how much I did for this one Okay, I got one of my pieces done. I got all my pieces done, but the small piece, this is what we'll do when we get, take one of our big pieces and we'll sew it kind of like that, but this little piece, you want to make it big enough to go around it and sew it together. So that's about how you, that's how you determine how big to make this piece. But for the bow piece, um, I'm going to use one of these tail ends of it. And I'm going to just sew it together right quick. It's, you're not going to see 
this so it doesn't have to be perfect but I just wanted to kind of stay together right here a little bit like I said you can just do it real quick because you won't see this and it'll all be hidden underneath that little wrap piece that we're doing Okay, you're gonna tie your tail, go through it a couple more times to make sure it don't come undone. Put that off. Okay, this is what I got for the ribbon part. So what I want to do is just take a piece of yarn and tie it up here. Try to get both sides equal where where you tie at. So I kind of just fold it over. Once these sides are put together equally, and I'm just going to take this and tie a knot in it as tight as I can. It's not going to show. You're not going to be able to see this. It's going to be covered, so you don't have to worry about it. And then, like that. Bring it back around, do it again, maybe. tight as you can and then you can clip this you can leave a little bit uh, there because so that way it don't come undone now you're going to take your short piece which you're going to wrap around and I left a long tail on it you want to get your darning needle ready and it's going to go around here like this I'm just going to tie so back here, and I'm just going to sew it up. You can sew it up anyway, you know how. play with that a little bit. One more other thing I'm going to do while I got that darning needle on is sew on my tails. And I'm making one side like a little bit shorter than the other. But I'm just going to sew them on right back here too. Just so they don't come undone. Like this. I'll probably sew it all the way through the front. Neatly go back through the other side. Don't want it to come undone. Just sew it on till you feel like it's not the tails aren't gonna come off and Nothing's going to come off. I'll probably come down here and sew it a little bit. So I'll just bring it down here. Sew it on down here a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish sewing this all together. I'm going to try to show you the best way that I can. I just apologize that I don't have a lot of room to move around here. But I got my bow made and I tied it real tight right around the, the whole um, piece of wire wreath and then I'm going to trim off my edges here and I'm also going to put some hot glue on it too that way I know it's going to stay this is the bottom of the wreath actually but uh, should be able to put some hot glue right here on the back of these uh, pieces of the wreath or pieces of the bow be generous with it and just hot glue that piece on there 
And this one should fluff up a little bit better after you have that one hot glued on. And you want to do the same with this one. Just on this one piece on the back down here, kind of low. Quite a bit. And then, once you get it where you want it, press it down. And you can also stick a little bit of hot glue up underneath here if you feel like just to give a little bit of extra hold. And at the end, after it all dries, you can always go back and see if you need to put more on it or not. Okay. Now, you can decorate it any way you want. I actually, you know, since I crochet, I'm going to put yarn balls on it. And I got green and red and white. Um, after you make the yarn balls, though, your little in here, if, if, if you want to decorate it this way, you don't have to. I just put a dab of hot glue on that end piece, like that. That way it won't come undone. And you can hot glue these on here anywhere you want. Might be easier to hang it up and then decide where you want to put them. But you could do a group of three or just one here and there. It's completely up to you. You could use regular Christmas bulbs or whatever you want to use. Um, and also, if you want to uh, use the piece of yarn and tie it on to the back of the wreath and then hot glue it just for extra security, you can do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on decorating mine. I think I'm going to hang mine up on the wall and do it so I won't be able to film it. But you go ahead and get started on yours.